the fact that the Tiguan is one of the most compact crossovers cannot be masked by style. Though it does come off as a bit of a mix between adventure and the usual contemporary. Lines of the exterior are made more prominent by the grill and headlamps. The Tiguan sports a 2.0 litre inline four cylinder option available in both front and all wheel drive settings. The outage is 200 horsepower. The engine is linked to a six speed manual transmission though an automatic is also available. The performance tests show that the Tiguan's acceleration to 100 km per hour takes 8.4 seconds for the average package. The estimated fuel economy according to the EPA is 7.6 km per litre in the city and 10.2 on the highway. Hi, and let's start off with a very, very happy new year to all our viewers. Um, hope everything went well for everybody in the holidays. Now, as we all know, Kenya, our country, we see a lot of accidents during the holiday season. And I thought I should start with uh, something that we can talk about normal general causes. Let's start with something along the lines of suspension today. A lot of cars um, have got worn out suspension and the drivers are not even aware. There's many things to look out for a suspension. A suspension is made of many components. You've got shocks, you've got springs, you've got um, the steering rack assembly, you've got the ball joints, you've got the stabilizer bars. Now, the importance of checking suspension, I cannot begin to insist enough on it because there are many accidents on the roads every day because of faulty suspension or faulty tyres. We've previously spoken about tyres and alignment and balancing and the importance of it. So today we will be speaking about suspension. You must make sure that the shocks on your car are well to do and they have just the right amount of rebound because if your shock is not consistently pushing your wheel onto the road surface, then that means there will be times when you're either braking or accelerating where your wheel is not in contact with the road surface which means for that moment you have no control over the car because there is power being applied but there is no control because the tire is not touching the road surface secondly you've got the springs the springs job is to make sure that after a pothole or after a bump the shock expands fast enough for it to be a smooth action but for the tire to touch the road surface as quickly as possible one out springs will mean your car will touch down on bumps you can't carry a, you know a moderate load if you have passengers you can't carry them in your car and also the shock action is very greatly reduced so therefore you have to make sure that your springs are in good action at all times moving on let's go to the steering assembly i mean we all know that a steering is pretty important part in driving a car I mean, we wouldn't be able to drive one without it really so the steering assembly consists of a few suspension components it starts with the steering input shaft which has the universal joints then you have the rack then you have the rack ends then you have the tire ends this is what steers your car left and right now if any of these components are worn out you will feel that the steering response is very slow and when you're driving in a straight line, maybe on a straight road where there's no potholes, you're driving at 100 kph, you will feel that no matter how steady you hold the steering wheel, the car will move to the left or to the right, it'll keep swinging. In such a situation, if you were to apply the brakes under emergency situations, you would not be able to slow down the car in time. This happening because the steering wheel is not keeping the car center. So you must get all these things checked by a professional. Also, 
an alignment uh, specialist can pretty much give you a report on all these things now coming down to one of the last two components which don't make them any less major ball joints this is what holds the suspension together in cars which have whether you have a McPherson uh, setup or whether you have um, the double arm uh, wish uh, double wishbone suspension you still have ball joints on the top and on the bottom and these are what hold the wheel assembly in place so that the other components can work on this wheel assembly you must make sure that these are good at all times because if a ball joint is to come off on the road while you're driving your wheel will immediately collapse and the car will be on the floor now how would you know that these things are worn out the telltale signs are normally when you're going on a slightly rough surface you'll hear you know the rattling noises you'll feel the steering wheel play a delayed play in your steering wheel or when you turn when you turn the car around the corner you'll hear a knocking noise so it's actually very important to make a point in your life to go to your nearest professional and get all these things checked